on rights of free movement and you consider the economic implication as well, how much money is lost during this period? Well, the, in law, there's what we call doctrine of necessity. Okay. And by the implication of that doctrine, I think that doctrine was quite popular during the time uh, uh, Vice President Gulo Jonathan was to take over from um, President Omar Musaya Radua. So because he traveled on medical leave and uh, he did not transmit a letter officially appointing uh, the Vice President to act in the capacity of the President uh. before it comes back. So okay. the National Assembly had to step in, quoting the doctrine of necessity, to say, okay, fine, since he did not transmit the letter, we have to, so that the presidential duty does not suffer. Now, that, that is another bit of doctrine of necessity. So when we talk about doctrine of necessity, it, 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 it tampers down. It's more like doing something that necessarily illegal, but the occasion demands for it at that time. So in the in the election or in, the, in during electoral processes or during electoral just a minute, Mr. Um, Aleke, we understand that the um, the candidate of one of the contenders in this election has just cast his vote. Afan Achono will now address the press uh, as we look forward to hear what he thinks of the process. We've heard earlier from the governor of Bayelsa State and another uh, candidate in Kogi State who seem to have good things to say about the INEC and its preparation for this election. Well, Achodo will now address the press as regards um, what is experienced thus far and what he feels about the process. It's important uh, that um, INEC is seen to have improved because they say that's the essence of, you know, this off-cycle elections to improve on um, what has happened. For instance, an election is coming up now eight months uh, after the general election, quite a number of issues have been raised with annex preparation, logistics, and the arrival of officers and officials and materials on election day. Hopefully, that has remarkably been improved. Uh, How do you feel doing that? I feel great. I have uh, great hopes for our democracy. I, I believe that uh, Mr. President intends to give us a free and fair election. Okay, um, what is your opinion about the turnout? Because uh, what it's, what's become manifest is that, um, I mean, uh, what would you put it down to, Putra Party, uh, what's happened? Why do you think that not many people are out and about, you know, trying to do the same thing? No, a lot of people will come. Even my own family, my brothers are still coming. All right, do, do you feel safe? And, of course, um, the voters, do you think the voters feel safe to come out and vote because that could be the reason why yeah you know, at first they were, uh, were feeling threatened by the unusual you know security movement presence of armored uh, personnel carriers and so on moving everywhere number of soldiers i've never seen such number of soldiers and policemen before in our vicinity so but we've tried to reassure them that they're here for their own protection they're here to protect the process so they'll be coming out. Mm -hmm. So we've heard some report that there might be diversion of some electoral material in the weary north. Have you heard about this? Yeah, we've heard. We've also heard in our law that they moved, uh, they also electoral materials, they moved it to a particular traditional last house. We're still trying to verify those, uh, uh, the information. And also, we hear that there are cluster voting. So, so all these things, we need to verify them before we go public. Well, what are your major concerns? Well, going forward, my major concern is that uh, we still believe that their plan, like we've been shouting in the media all this while, they have, they have so many thugs come to so many hotels. We've alerted the security agencies. They have not taken any action. And we think that their plan is to hijack the uh, this thing uh, before the collation centers and then try to insert all the results we are here that they have written. But so, you know, but generally, what's your... Generally, what's your impression about the conduct of INEC and what's going on so far about the election? Well, INEC, they are, they are doing very well so far. You see, INEC will be planning their own. The bandits will be planning their own. So let's see how it works. Do, do you have confidence in INEC? I mean, a lot of people have, you know, vented their anger about the outcome of the presidential election and, of course, the governorship election. Do you have confidence in INEC? Do you think INEC could redeem itself with this? I mean, I'm waiting to see. So I, I believe that is the right thing to do. If I was the INEC chairman, I would like to redeem myself with this election. Okay. All right. yeah. Thank you, Thank so you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.